Welcome back to Veggie Plot. Uh, I've decided to introduce this video slightly differently because it was getting a bit long. <laughs> uh, I was up in the polytunnel and the greenhouse earlier in the week planting out various things such as the aubergines, some ladiva cucumbers, some gherkins, some itachi cucumbers and the striped Armenian cucumber. So they're all going to be in the first video, in the first part. And then the second part, I was planting out some watermelons, my F4 watermelons, and also some Picasso melons, which I don't know if you've ever seen before. Um, but yeah, so they're a new one for me. And then in the third and final part, I was up in the greenhouse, planting out all the tomatoes in the grow bag waterers. Hopefully you can join me for all parts. I've split them up to make them a reasonable length. And I'll see you in the polytunnel now. Good morning. Welcome back to Veggie Plot, and uh, today is going to be a busy day. If you just saw all the plants I've got to plant outside, and that's only half of them. There's some more up on the patio. I've uh, got a lot to do today. Anyway, in here I've got some planting as well to do. I've got the uh, gherkins to plant out. These uh, desperately need to go in the ground. I've got flowers on already. We've got the striped Armenian cucumber. If you checked out my Instagram feed, you'll have seen last year I grew one of these. And uh, yeah, the cucumber was about a metre long. It was extraordinary. It tasted of melon cucumber and, and cucumber. It was really extraordinary and wonderful striping on it. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, I've got, I've got to plant out these aubergines. These are black beauty. So they've come on well, but they need a need planting out desperately. So I've got quite a lot of them and some smaller ones to go in. Uh, and then we've got all the melons and watermelons too. Last year I, in a shop I picked up a Picasso melon I think. I don't know if you've seen them. I think they're also called a Gaia melon or a leopard melon. They've sort of got a white skin with sort of green sort of watercolor, green and yellow watercolor flecks on. Really beautiful looking thing. Um, we had two of them to eat. Anyway, I saved all the seeds and I've sown some and uh, we're having them this year. But the interesting thing about them is that the flesh is sort of white and really, really sweet. So it's really refreshing and sweet. Delicious. If you see one in a supermarket, well worth picking up. But I've, I've no idea how they'll grow. Um, I quite like buying things in supermarkets, saving the seeds, as I may have mentioned before, uh, and seeing what happens. Uh, the other one is um, that I'm growing is a watermelon. Um, and it's my sort of F4 seed now that I'm growing and seems to really like it in the polytunnel. So, yeah, better get on and get busy. <laughs> so much to do. Ah, before I do anything planting wise though, I've got to give everything a good watering. Right, I think the first things we'll plant out are these two aubergines down here. I'm going to put the two big aubergines down this end of the tunnel because it's quite an unusual space. As I mentioned before, we get a lot of shade here. Uh, and I know they don't like the shade necessarily and they like the warmth and it's near the open door. so. I've got to make a few modifications to all this air that's coming in here at this end. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to try these here because I've got loads to go in all down the middle bed behind me. Right, let's uh, put one out of the way and get a trowel and then we'll dig a hole and put them in. Uh, give it a little water in the hole. But yeah, this is, this is Black Beauty. It's sort of the one you see in supermarkets and so on quite often. You know, they're just a dark sort of maroony coloured uh, aubergines. But uh, yeah, we grew white Claras last year, which were very nice, but I fancy something different this year. Right, let's just put this out the pot. Oh, there we go. It's got a decent root ball on it. A little bit dry, but that'll pick up. So I'll just uh, rough it up a little bit. Encourage the roots to go elsewhere and pop that in. Let's just fill that in. All right, it's looking good. Get 
the drip lines back in place. Right, that's one, let's do the other. Soil is very moist down this end of the garden. It's a very naturally a wet area. Uh, the lawns always get really wet, you know. But, so these beds suck up a lot of moisture from the ground and don't really dry out that much, which is wonderful. Anyway, right, this is the second one. I've got two more of these up in the greenhouse. But... Nice root ball on there again. Let's give it a little shimmy. Right. Right, back fill the hole. There we are. Super. a lot of these black beauties to go in uh, slightly smaller are these so but I think in this bed I can probably get about five going to do well here they did very well in this position last year I had um, yeah Clara's growing in here about three Clara's and we got lots of them off the off there last year so hopefully that will be a lovely little bed of aubergines right um, let's plant some gherkin shall we right I've got all of these uh, gherkins together and look at it can you see them are they amazing they've got little fruits on them already little gherkins coming there's it all the way up it's like one at every node i've never grown these before these are let me have a look these are an f1 and they're called partner and i sowed them on the 24th of april this year and i was mentioning in the last video or one of the videos about tomatoes and adventitious roots you can see these are the same on these gherkins, the little lumps at the bottom. And um, yeah, they're little roots. So if I plant this a little bit deeper, that will help this plant grow even stronger. Let me just unpop this one. There we go. Nice little root ball on there. Perfect. So just lean in and drop that in there and somehow <laughs> get in the jungle tomatoes right we'll put one here in the middle right nice roots in this one Try not to get tangled up in the strings. <laughs> Pop them in there. Right, last plant here. Yeah, so we plant this down there. That should do good. Right, let's put this one on here. Right, that's those three in there, all looking good. And some gherkins on the way, so really looking forward to these. They're uh, going to climb right up this weld mesh, I suspect. I think now I'm gonna do the striped Armenians, which I'm gonna put over this side of the polytunnel. I've got uh, four of these striped Armenian, but they're completely different in size. This one is, as I showed you earlier, really about a foot and a half long, but these I re-sewed because quite a few of them didn't sort of uh, germinate. <laughs> However, now I've got two that are tiny. So two that are tiny and one that's sort of in the middle. But I think this tall one, if 
can probably go in the middle here and I'm sort of putting it in the middle of the polytunnel so it's possibly the warmest area for it. Um, I think he appreciated that. A couple of clips as before. So this one will be sitting next to these Brad's Atomic Grape tomatoes. Right, and I'm going to put this slightly smaller one, the one in the middle, on the outer edge. There we go. Right, I only need one clip for this little one at the moment. Just to roughly keep him in place. There. Right, uh, that's those done, so not doing too bad. Let's go and see if we can find these others here. These are the Itachi, which we grew last year. So I've got three of those, and I think we're going to put these down against this bit of weld mesh. There, one, two, three, all done. Then get their tendrils wrapped around the weld mesh. Right, the last three cucumbers are these Ladivas, which uh, seem pretty wimpy at the moment. <laughs> Not really getting growing. Could be the compost perhaps, but anyway, they're an F1, um, but I think they are being little divas at the moment. They were planted like the others on the 24th of April. So I'm just going to put all these in along here. Uh, I'm not even going to bother separating them because some of them look a bit weak and we'll just see what happens. Right, that's the end of part one. Be sure to head over to part two where I'll be showing you how I plant out my watermelons and the Picasso melons into the grow bag waterers and also why and how I use pots in the grow bags to make this soil deeper so we've got more soil to grow in. Okay. See you in part two. Actually, I mean that way.